So I'm glad to be getting you after you met with everyone. Uh, tell me what's going on here today. What brought this meeting about? Well, from my perspective, uh, Trey and I were talking uh, while we were having dinner one night in, in D.C. about finding a way to bring the South Carolina family together and looking at specifically the relationship between law enforcement and minority communities. And as a former prosecutor, he has an appreciation and affinity for law enforcement. And as one of his best friends, he's been um, open and transparent about improving relationships. And what we've discovered over uh, many meals together is that folks who eat together and play together are folks who are willing to understand and appreciate a different perspective. So the goal today and, and the goal in the future meetings that we've established is just to have an opportunity to get folks who are like-minded, i.e. wanting a better South Carolina and to make stronger the family unit here in South Carolina. We have law enforcement folks and pastors and community leaders are willing to invest more of their time to understand folks who may not look like them, but who philosophically want the best for their kids and for their state and, and obviously for their country. Um, and uh, he's right. I heard about the shooting of Mr. Walter Scott from uh, my senator, and I heard about the shooting at Emanuel Church from my senator. And the fact that he and I, in a fairly short period of time, would develop a relationship um, where we could, uh, we spend most of our time together in Washington um, and we touch on issues that um, lots of other folks don't feel comfortable talking about. Um, my background is in law enforcement, but yet I need his perspective as someone who has had interaction with law enforcement that I've never had. Now, if you look at the two of us, I look like I'm much more likely to rob you than he does. He looks like a CPA. Um, but yet he's been stopped by law enforcement many more times than I have. So I, I've got to put my background and my bias aside. And we have to have a conversation about where we are in South Carolina, which I think is, is frankly good, as evidenced by uh, the forgiveness shown both, both by Mr. Walter Scott's family, also by the families in Emanuel. But, but at a certain point, you don't want to keep asking for forgiveness. You want it to not happen in the first instance. So uh, I give a lot of credit to Mr. Scott for, for bringing the group together today.